In times of stress, we see an increase in child abuse cases. And with the current pandemic that's in place right now, parents are stressed. Parents are stressed regarding their jobs, uh, their income. How are they gonna pay the bills? How are they gonna feed their kids? Are they healthy? And all these stressors can lead to abuse. First and foremost, when you're feeling stressed, Take a, take a moment, walk outside, get some separation between you and your child or between the situation that's causing stress and just take a moment, take a breath. It's okay to ask for help. Uh, even if it's picking up the phone and saying, my kids are driving me nuts today, you know, just let that stress out. Um, you know, getting outside is great for both parents and for children. Social distancing does not mean social, social isolation. We really need to still get outside. Of course, maintain that distance of at least six feet away, uh, but have those interactions, uh, getting, getting outdoors and, and seeing people, just not in close settings. You can reach out to your uh, healthcare provider or telemedicine. Uh, many mental health providers are still doing appointments right now, so please reach out. Uh, as far as just resources in your community, 211 in the state of West Virginia is a great resource to just access local community resources. It's important that even though we're in this pandemic and we're in this child care shortage, that we don't uh, forget the steps that are necessary to make sure that our children are safe. Screen the, the child care providers where you are going to leave your children. You know, when you're looking for uh, daycare, go into the home, make sure the home is safe. Okay, do they have their guns locked up? Do they have uh, dangerous chemicals uh, out of the reach of the child? Uh, is the home or the, the child care facility safe for my child? There is this big message on checking, the, checking in on the elderly, which is vitally important, but don't forget our small families and our children, and especially single parents. Remember, we have a parent, one parent, that's at home all the time, alone, 24-7, uh, and um, we really need to make sure they're doing okay. Just get involved, you know, support these families, and if you're concerned, call the Child Abuse Hotline. We need to get these kids help.